Now then crew, welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now this is episode 3 in the Makita lithium iron battery restoration investigation project thingy that's going on at the moment. In the last video you saw me replace or, or identify two damaged cells on battery 1 and we've got four batteries to play around with. Uh, we tested that one and we found that yes, all the cells are checking out good now. Uh, put it on the charger and still the charger has gone for the red and the green um, alternating lights indicating there's still a problem and of course the charger refuses to charge the battery up and we, basically the only thing left now is to replace the circuit board uh, on that battery and went online and ordered those and they're on the way here but I still have two more batteries that's battery 3 and battery 4 which we also identified um, broken cells and it just so happens that um, on battery 2 which we've now destroyed by uh, stealing the remaining good cells we've got two cells left that are good these ones came out of battery number 2 and they checked out just fine and it just so happens fortunately that uh, battery number 3 that's already stripped down only has one duff cell, this one here, cell number two. So in this video we're going to replace that and battery number four, this one here, also only has one duff cell, battery, uh, sorry, cell number one up here look. So I think in this video what we need to do is replace those two cells, one in each battery, reassemble the, uh, the batteries, put them on the charger and see if they work and if they do, or if one of them works, then I don't need to replace the circuit board. If they don't work, then I know that I need more circuit boards and I'll need to go online and order those. Okay, well, without further ado, because you've already seen me replace cells before, I'll crack on and you can, we can see how we get on with these two batteries. Here we go. Right, soldier and iron is on. I'm wearing some gloves because I'm not entirely sure how safe these things really are. Now, like I did in the, in the second video, episode two, I don't want to be soldering, if I can help it, on the ends of the battery because that's going to put a lot of heat inside that cell. But I'm going to have no choice on this particular battery. But on the other three joints, I can actually solder to the original tin, which should help to reduce the, you know, the heat induction a little bit. So I reckon now I can just snip this tin between these two cells. These are the good ones that we rescued from battery number two. There we go. I can trim that one down a bit. Don't need all of that. There we go. Excellent. Right, I just need to clean those plates up now. So I'll do that off camera. There's not even, you know. And what I used to clean them was just a standing knife blade, just to scrape off that sort of paper that they've got on there, that paper insulation. It's pretty easy. Just tidy that up. There we go. Okay, get rid of that bit. Super. Okay, so they're ready for cleaning up. And we now also need to extract battery number two. Now, one thing I did notice with these batteries that you should be aware of is... The, these metal joining plates protrude below the base of the batteries so if you've got a steel bench like I have the last thing you want to do is put them down on the bench because it's going to cause a short across those batteries and these definitely have got some charge although not much I suppose and we've already checked the voltages and we know that all of these have got you know some voltage in them this one's got nothing at all from memory where's my bit of cardboard Yeah, so battery number three, that cell there, number one's got 3.4 volts, that's got 3.4, that's got 3.8, and that's got 3.8, so that would be a pretty major short if I put that down on the bench, so be very careful. Okay, so we now need to extract that dead cell. So we'll do the same technique as we did last time, which seemed to work pretty damn well. I'll just get my safety glasses put on. You never know with these batteries. They have a, you know, 
you see it on the news, lithium ion batteries tend to they can explode if you're not careful with them. So we'll just break that bit of paper there, look. Right, duff cell, and we'll just get a little flat screwdriver. I'm just gonna ease that metal plate, the spot welds, off the end of that battery. Hopefully we won't actually break into the battery internals. It doesn't take a lot of doing actually, it's quite an easy way of doing it. But again, you see, you don't want to be, if I catch the screwdriver on there while I'm touching this, it's going to cause a short across those two batteries, which I really don't want. That would not be good. Could cause much fire. Right, that's that one done. Now we're on to this end. It's actually a lot easier on these single cell batteries. You know, single layer of cells. On the on the other one, it was it was the cells were in pairs. You can see you can just get your screwdriver just under there, just ease it up. It doesn't matter too much if we tear the plate. don't want the battery to leak. Okay. We don't know why the the reason for this is failure uh, the reason for failure is it could be you know the cell. Here we go, look pretty easy. I don't think we've destroyed that. No we've not cut into the battery at all by the looks of it. So that's a dead one. Need to dispose of that in a in a good manner. Right well while we're on we'll pull the dead cell out of the other battery pack which is battery pack number four and the dead cell here is the end one which is pretty easy now look so we'll do the same technique we'll just get our screwdriver under there you can see there's five spot welds holding that little plate on and they've used spot welds because obviously it's dead easy to, you know manufacturing and it puts very little heat into the battery but I haven't got the gear to do a spot weld so we have to solder unfortunately. There we go, that's that one. I was amazed to see how many videos there were on YouTube covering potential fixes for these batteries and what I didn't find was information covering all the possible ways of doing it in one place. I had to do a bit of research. Okay, that's the other dead cell, so I'll get rid of those because they're the ones that are a bit unstable, probably. We'll come back to battery number four. Let's get back on the other mat. Now, I'll go and clean these up and then we can start to install them. And obviously, I've got to clean up what I'm going to do with these plates as well. Oh, okay. So just a quick recap, because uh, obviously it's not on this video yet. But battery number one is work in progress. That needs uh, a new circuit board fitting. Battery number two has been scrapped. We've used that for donor cells. Battery number three, we've just pulled out cell number two. That had zero voltage. And battery number four, we've pulled out cell number one, which is right down to 0.3 of a volt. Okay, so those are the results that we got on episode two. And that's what we're basing this repair on. Okay, well I'm going to crack on and tidy up all these joints uh, and I'll come back to you when it's time for soldering. Right, so I'm just finishing off the last one, just getting the, that plastic, well that plastic's more like paper, sort of it, sheet that's glued onto them, it's obviously like an insulator, but I've done this end, look, that end's nice and clean, perfect. It does take a bit of time, but I didn't think you'd want to see all of it, but you might want to see a little bit of how I do it. This seems to work pretty well. You've got to sort of support the plate. We don't want to damage those um, spot welds, cause them to lift off the battery, because I'm trying to avoid soldering onto the cell itself. Once you've got all the paper out of the way, obviously there's still a bit of glue on there, and I've not used any kind of brake cleaner or anything like that, because I don't want to damage the it might react with the plastic coating of the cell. Maybe. I just don't know. So I'm just being super careful. 
trying to give this little project the best chance of success. And I'm sure we'll get there in the end because, you know, we can replace the cells and we can replace the circuit board. So, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, there's nothing else left, is there really? Just give it a good, good clean up. And then, just to finish off, just a bit of sandpaper. God knows what grit this is. It's pretty, pretty fine grit. It's just what was kicking around. It's a lot harder on camera than it is off camera, so just bear with me. Especially when tall girl Hannah's bloody messaging me all the time. She never stops messaging me. It's ridiculous. She's having a bit of a laugh because somebody reckons they could see one of her nipples from one of the last videos. So she's in hysterics about that. I'm pretty sure you can't. I did a pretty good job editing it. But hey, you never know. Might have to do some pixelation shortly. I think that's the video where she gets a new shirt, which has just gone bloody ridiculous. It's got like, it's getting like 20,000 views a day at the moment, which is just mental. I've never had a video as popular. So maybe, maybe you can see a nipple. I don't know. Right. I reckon that's pretty damn good, isn't it? Look at that. Focus camera, right. So they're all done. And I've done the tabs on the battery pack as well. That one there, and I've even cleaned underneath as well. So we need to make sure we put it in the right way around. That's very important. So where's my pen? Here we go, right. So with these batteries, the end with the rib is the positive, and that's the negative. So that's a negative, that's a positive. So we need to label this one up. So it needs to go in that way around. So that's going to be the positive, and that's going to be the negative, just to be on the safe side, because the last thing I want to do is solder it in the wrong way around, because that would probably cause smoke. Now I also put some tape around it just while I was working on it, so everything sort of stayed in the right place so we'll get rid of that and we'll get the cell and we'll pop it basically in there like that and that should be the correct way around maybe I'll roll it around a bit that might help with those those plate alignments yes that'll work okay well time to do some soldering I reckon Let's just label that up again just so we've got something to look at perfect okay now a bit of cardboard I mean, I'll just stick that under there so we're not con got continuity through the battery pack just yet I think we need a bit more tape just to hold everything still for us. Okay. okay, so we're about ready for soldering. I'll crack on. Now this time round, I'm actually soldering straight onto the battery, which is not ideal. Well, not straight onto the battery, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to have to hold that tab down as soon as the solder's flowed. But the first job is to put a puddle of solder actually on that plate there, so that when we squash this down, there's a nice puddle to spread underneath and get good contact. Seems to work pretty well last time. Okay, well, here goes. Here goes nothing. I'll try and get you a little bit of a close-up. <clears throat> I'm just going to pull that back a little bit so we can get to that um, onto that tab. Now, like I said before, the solder I'm using is that one there, look. And I'm not the best soldering person. I've been told that by many, many viewers. That's all right. I can cope with that. Now we're using the big soldering iron because it, the little one just didn't have enough, enough meat to it, unfortunately. Okay, sorry battery. Right, I'm trying to be super quick. Okay, or well, maybe stick a bit on the back side of here as well, just to help. Okay, bend that down. More 
Bonus oldu. Okay, well that seems to be a pretty good joint. It's got plenty of solder in there. The battery did get pretty warm. I didn't like the uh, the fumes being given off, but hey, he who dares, Rodney, he who dares. I'm right, we'll get rid of that now. Let's do the same at this side. Bloody cool if this one works. And these ones worked up until a few weeks ago. That's what sort of prompted this whole investigation, really. There we go. It's a good soldier night, this one. It's probably a bit hot for the job, but it works. Right, okay, we've got some under there now. Let's sort of flick it round. Now this time we're going to be connecting, the, there'll be a full circuit, so we'll be super aware of things going wrong. see just down there look there's plenty of solder in that joint so I think that's that one done so we need to test it definitely got to test it I want to test it straight away so we'll stick it back in its casing get rid of this tape see what happens okay goodbye tape Remember this is power pack number three, so what we need now is the casing. Oh, you're getting super close up now, aren't you? All right, now this one had a little mat on the base of the batteries, so I'll pop that on. Get rid of the screws. Now, I'm pretty sure it goes in that way around. I should be careful of these plates man I saw a spark I did fuck that's not good can you see there look we've got that metal just arcing across on the battery it could be smoke And I can't stand in all that apart all the time. Where's my cardboard? Pretty hot. Well, wow. all right, bit of surgery. I need to get that up so I can snip it off. Damn, first mistake. That crackling here in the background is the. Uh... That's better. So when you're trimming those back, make sure you trim them right back. So there's no chance of any shorts. God. Okay. Nearly had a near death experience. So I can't pull that cell out of the way because it's soldered up here. But hopefully I can just trim all that back without making contact. Hopefully. That's the plan. Alright, I think we're pretty safe. I'll just fold that bit over. There we go, and that bit. Whew! Wow, okay. It just shows you how, how careful you've got to be, doesn't it? Still not happy with that bit. It's still too close for my liking. And I can't rest until I just get some tape on there. And that way. 
we sort of covered a little bit, aren't we? Let's just do that. Let's do that on there. Now, hopefully, we can just lever that bit up. with some smaller ones. Okay. There we go. I'm happy with that. We've got a pretty good gap now between the two cells. And I might as well leave that tape on actually. There's no need to take that off. Okay. Whoa. Well spotted people. <laughs> Right, let's get it the right around now. I think it's that way. All right, look for some more smoke. Because let's face it, smoke is not good. Not in my book. Got to make sure it's seated, seated properly. It's making me jump, is that uh, soldering iron? Let's just unplug it. Okay, why are you not seating down there properly? There we go. Okay, right, give it a push. I see it's pretty well seated. Okay, time for the clip and the spring. Let's pop the spring on there. Put the clip. In. That has to go on there, that has to go down there, you can hold that, put the top on, <laughs> point of no return now, if you start smoking when it's too late we can't get in, it's a very snug fit, okay we'll just put two screws in, just for now, too bad. I'll have to check why it's not fully closing, but hey, we're nowhere near finished yet. Okay, let's grab the charger and see what happens. <laughs> Flames, probably. Right, before we go for the charger, we'll just do our standard voltage check. It definitely smells something. Hopefully it's uh, finished now. If you see any smoke, I'll run. You don't get a lot of warning with these things. Right, can you see that? You can. Okay, so we should have around about 18 volts or thereabouts. Okay, so positives this side. 15.6. Okay, well, you know, it's not a fully charged battery, so at least we're getting a reasonable voltage. Right, charger. I know you've been waiting for this. Take those out. Here it goes. I'm going to open the door. Ready to run. <sighs> okay, so we know that that needs a circuit board. Battery number three needs a circuit board in it. Damn. Okay, I'm just going to take that back apart again because I want to make sure it's not shorting out properly. But I'm pretty sure it isn't, just for safety. These things we do. More excitement than a movie. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of that. Get the spring out. Come on, batteries. You can do it. That's why I think you want some tape all around, really, to hold them in place. But oh, man. there we go. Just jamming on the casing a little bit.
Okay, well, we'll stick it on the bench like that because we know I've got to replace that circuit board next. Right, screws. One, two, three, four. Got the spring. Perfect. Okay, so power pack number three, that one there. I've rechecked all the cells. They're all good. They're giving out a good voltage. So that's going to need the circuit board changing. So that'll be in the next video, no doubt. Okay, pop it on the mat. We've got one more to go. It'd be nice to get one working, wouldn't it? Without having to change the circuit board. So this is battery pack number four. So let's do the same thing again. So I'll clean up all the joints clean up the, uh, the, the ends of the cell. I'll make damn sure we've got plenty of gap between those plates this time. I don't want any sparks. Definitely not. These things don't like being shorted out. That's when they tend to go pop. Um, that had been overcharged. <clears throat> the cell is ready for installation and what I've done is I've cleaned up again all those contact points down there. Look. Now this time around we're going to have to be soldering straight onto the cell which makes me a little bit on the nervous side but we'll have a lot of choice. Okay, got to get in the right round again, so it's the alternating, so it's the, the ribbed end to this end. So we'll pop that in there. I think we'll stick some tape around it just to hold everything in place whilst we're soldering this thing up. There we go. Jeez, I hope this one's going to work. It'd be nice to, to get one up and running from all this extra effort. Okay, soldering time, so we'll just tin underneath those flaps first of all. Hopefully the old soldering irons up to scratch, need a bit of solder. Pretty good fun though. Interesting is what it is. Okay. Right, it's that one. It's that one. Okay. And now we're going to have to solder onto the ends of that cell. Gee, this one's not too bad because it's already got the. Got the plate on there, but it's still gonna get bloody hot. Okay, well, let's try and make it quick. Is that one done? Now for this one. Oh, is it gonna stand up? Yes, that'll work. There we go. Right, here it goes. I haven't got the door open, so I can't run anywhere, but I have got my safety glasses on. Cool. Okay. Well, that's the ends all tinned up, the plates tinned up, so all we can do now is fold that over and hope get good contact. Let's put my solder there, that'll hold it. Okay. Let's see if that's held. The last one pretty well. That'll do. One more to go. Let's see if we can just give that a bit of a tweak. There we go. Right, a bit more solder, I think. Drive it ready. Here goes. Yeah, that's 
pretty good join. So we'll just fold that back over there, out of the way. Okay, well, let's get it put back in the holder. We'll get this tape taken off now. Don't need that. Okay. Right. One holder. So I'm going to put it in with those already in place. Right, now which way around does it go again? That way. Okay. God, Steve can do it. There we go. Right, pop the spring on, it's like a little factory this isn't it, and then that goes that way around. Hold it down, put the cover on, that should spring up, oh, get off my glove, damn you. Okay, there we are. Right, a couple of screws. One. We didn't have any shorts this time. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Be more careful. Two. Right. Time for the charger. Ta-da! Should we do a voltage check? Yes. Let's do a voltage check first. Always jumping the gun. Right. One. Two. You see that okay? You can, right. And positives on my side. What have we got? 15.8. That's pretty good. Okay. Right. Charger. Here we go. Oh. Idiot. <laughs> Oh, damn. Right, well, we've done the best we can. We've replaced all the cells. We know we've got good cells in, uh, was it battery number four? We've done battery number three as well on this video. And, of course, on the previous video, we did battery number one. Battery number two has been um, pulled apart for donor good cells. Um, so the next thing to do is to pop back online and order some circuit boards for these smaller 1.3 amp hour batteries. So we'll head inside and we'll go under that now. Makita battery circuit board. Let's see what we can find. Now, the one that I want to find first is for the BL1815. That's the 1.3 amp hour. That's the smaller of the two batteries that we've got. We've got four, but two of each. So. Let's see if we can scroll down here. So one eight was it one eight one five? One eight one five. One eight one five. Where are we? Cool, mister, where are you? Gotta be here somewhere. They're a pretty small battery aren't they? Ah, there we are. Okay, two pieces. Well, we need two because we've got two batteries. Two of the small ones, so... Um, oh, it'll do a BL1830 as well, which is... the larger one. Okay, so we'll have two of those. At least then we can try it on. If it's the same one in either, that's great. Okay, so look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Cool. Okay. Well, you get two pieces, so we need a quantity of one. And let's do buy it now. Click. Order's placed. 
should be here within a few weeks. Brilliant! Right, I'm back. It's done. Those are now hopefully going to be dispatched very soon and they should arrive hopefully the same sort of time as the ones I ordered for the for the larger batteries. Although I only need to use one of those now. Um, okay, well, hopefully you found this video helpful. Maybe if you swap out some of the cells on your battery, if you find the bad cell like we did in video uh, episode 2, um, swap them out. And I've, you know, the way I've done it seems to work pretty well and the batteries, as long as you keep the heat down on the batteries, it seems to work just fine. Um, then hopefully this video has been of help to you. Uh, obviously the next episode is going to be me installing the new circuit boards when they arrive, hopefully in the next week or so. Okay crew, well why not click on the subscribe button, you'll see a little gear icon turn up, click on the gear icon and then you can tick the box uh, to turn on notifications and our friends down at YouTube will send you an email as and when I upload any new videos. And uh, hopefully Tour Girl Hannah will be able to join me again when it comes to installing those circuit boards because that'll make it a bit of a laugh, won't it? Although, you know, I just a bit, bit worry about those batteries exploding with Hannah around. That would be a terrible shame. You know, I can cope with a few more scars and burn marks and stuff, but not for Hannah. Um, okay, you'll also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Feel free to communicate through any of those portals. Uh, you'll also find Tall Girl Hannah on uh, Instagram. Uh, which is Tall Girl Hannah, basically. It's just a little at sign and then Tall Girl Hannah, and you'll see her profile down there. Lots and lots of background information and photos about what she's done in the workshop so far. Uh, we've also got a Patreon account, so you can drop onto that and have a little look down the Patreon page. You'll see uh, history about the channel and up-and-coming projects as well. And if you feel like donating, then you've got that option. Okay, crew. Well, until next time, cheers. Over and out. Little girl Sam, how are I'm you? Back. You're back. It's Fantastic. So I know, and I've got a new shirt, so I thought it's only right that I give you a new shirt too. So there you go. I'm so excited for my new shirt, and I don't have to wear different shirts every day. And as a classic Tall Girl Sam move, I am going to wear it like this. Wow, would you look at that. I'd say that is a great present for your girlfriend if she's into tools. If she's not, she's probably into tools because you're a tool. See what I did there? Tool girl shirt, perfect. Mm -hmm.